Hi guys, um, so the eagle-eyed amongst you may have noticed that I didn't upload a pop in the box um, unboxing this month. Um, I cancelled my subscription because a bunch of my pre-orders from the shop all came in at once and I didn't get a notification to tell me they were going to process payment. Um, so this box arrived, it's got some things in it. Not necessarily every, all, not necessarily all things I actually wanted to order, um, and so because of the expense of that and the expense of SDCC pops this month, I just sort of thought, right, I don't need my normal subscription. I will do without. So I know what's in here. Um, it's not a mystery unboxing as it normally would be, but I thought I would show you anyway. Okay. So, um, oh. And they've rammed them in with little to no packaging, so we have some box damage, which is annoying. So I'll be messaging them about that. Um, but yeah, okay, so Grandpa Joe from China and Chocolate Factory. Um, I've got a few of that set in this package. So yeah, Grandpa Joe. Um, and yeah, another Grandpa Joe. I'll explain that. Again, there's a bit of box damage, but it's more minimal on this one. Although saying that, it's sort of concaved. A bit ridiculous. Um, next up, we have Mike TV. And his little... He's got like a mini mic, and he's rolling around in the box, because, again, not packaged that well. But he looks like a really cute pop. Um, and I've got two of him again. This one is damaged, there's a crease on the lid because they didn't bother to pack it properly. Um, but yeah, two of those as well. Um, yeah, I also got Charlie. And again, these pops are a little bit shabby as well. There's a mark there and again two of them so but i do i love that they've given him um the golden ticket <clears throat> in the pop i'm glad that they've chosen that as a design he looks really cute and his hair is just perfect as well i like that a lot it's a really cute pop um now sorry about that camera issues um, so yeah, I was trying to explain why I've got two everything and the things I didn't intend to get. Uh, because I never know when pop in the boxes pre-orders are going to come in, and therefore never know if it'll be beginning of the month, end of the month, what I tend to do is do two two different pre-orders. So um, I might do one when, you know, getting there lucky and it's like, I mean, Q position 20. And then I'll leave it a couple of days and do Q position like 120. Uh, in case when the first batch comes in, I don't happen to have the available funds. Um, so, and then obviously, hopefully by the time the next batch comes in, I'll have some. And I'll still have a pre-order ready to go. That's just what I've done. It's worked perfectly up until now. I've been able to cancel things, reorder things, no problem. Um, and yeah, it's just how it works for me. Um, but, and normally what happens is they send you an email to say, this has arrived into stock. They're going to process it soon and you have got an opportunity then to either cancel it or pay it quicker. So rather than waiting for them to take the money, you can actually just pay it straight away. And then the shipping process is a bit quicker, marginally so. Uh, but this time they didn't send any emails. They just processed everything. And they happen to have ordered loads of the um, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory pops. So my two pre-orders that were like quite far apart in numbers they just decided to ship both of them. Didn't tell me they were going to process any payments. They just did it all. Um, and yes, I sort of got burned because I don't want two of each of these pops. And um, I also had this other last item on pre-order. And I was undecided. I was on the fence as to whether I wanted it or not. Um, and I was going to wait and see... Oh, I was going to wait and see what is in the Spider-Man box um, from Marvel Collect Core. And... 
I was gonna then decide whether I wanted this item or not, but unfortunately they came into stock before the collectible box was shipped. So um, yeah, and because they didn't warn me, I didn't have time to cancel it. So I have picked up, sort of mistakenly, the Civil War four pack with the Spider-Man pop. Um, now it does look really, really cool. I just don't know if I need it because if the um, collect core box has a Spider-Man pop in it, I don't think I really want this set because I've already got a Hawkeye. Okay, admittedly it's not this Hawkeye um, and I'm not that fussed about the minis, the keychains. Um, so yeah, I wasn't necessarily gonna actually order this. And um, again, because they've packaged this so badly, it's actually got some damage on the bottom there. So I'm just really not that impressed with popping the box. And like I say, because of all this, it meant I couldn't get my usual um, subscription this month. So while these pops are all really, really cool and I'm excited because I wanted them, I just wanted them differently, if that makes sense. So it's a bit, uh, I don't know, I'm gonna have to contact Pop in the Box and say, look, you know, they already know about the fact that they've uh, didn't send a warning email, they just processed it all. They know I'm a bit miffed about that. Um, but obviously I need to speak to them about the fact that everything has arrived with damage on it because of the way they've shipped it. I mean, all those items in that one big box, and that is the packaging. That solitary square of bubble wrap is all the packaging they thought they needed, so it's no wonder things have arrived damaged. When are they going to learn? Um, I did like popping the box, um, I sort of still do because it's the best way for me to get all the pops that I want and need um, and they're cheap but they keep having this consistent problem with inconsistencies on customer services um, and packaging and we've told them about packaging so many times, I mean I know I've sent them a lot of messages, I know many other people have sent them messages about it and they keep sort of saying, oh yes, it's been addressed, and then you get another package and it hasn't been. So um, as it stands, because of the way they've behaved this time with the, um, not having the processing email go out, I've cancelled all my pre-orders now. Um, I don't have anything left, I think, apart from a Dementor at 6 99 which I thought was too good a deal to cancel. So that has still remained. Uh, but as it stands, I'm not a subscriber and I don't have any other pre-orders, so we'll see where we go from here. I'm going to message them about these. I'll let you know what they say. Um, when I decide what I'm keeping or not keeping, <clears throat> I will um, show you the pops out of box. Uh, but in the meantime, thank you very much for watching. And in case I don't show you them, take care and bye for now.